Hey, Jamie signing on again. Uh, today I'm going to tackle the topic. It's uh, a new legislation that's going to be passed by the uh, Canadian government. Well, I wouldn't say legislation. It's a new program they're attempting to put into place. Cash for clunkers. It's basically paying you to trade in your old clunking piece of shit car for a new vehicle. Now my question is, is this going to cover leases? Is this going to cover extremely old pieces of shit that should have been condemned a long time ago or junked a long time ago? And how much are they willing to pay? Is it going to be a tax burden on the Canadian consumers? Is it going to be... Oh God, there's so many questions. Is it only for eco-friendly vehicles? Uh, some that have a certain EPA rating? And I know the EPA rating is only for the US, but why would Canada create their own rating system, cost the taxpayers even more money when they have a perfectly good one that they can just use in the US anyways? So, what's going to happen with cash for clunkers? On the plus side, you're going to see a lot less cars that are pieces of shit that don't stop for nothing, that shouldn't even pass the inspections, especially in New Brunswick or here in uh, Moncton, New Brunswick, it's even worse because there's a lot of backyard mechanics that are licensed to pass these uh, these tests and allow vehicles that are really not suited for the road to pass. But, you know, they still pass it because, you know, they pass them a couple of bucks and say, yeah, you know what, it's cheaper than buying a new car. Meanwhile, they're putting at risk the re uh, welfare of everyone else on the road as well as planet Earth. Now, what kind of vehicle is it going to cover? Is it going to cover every single vehicle that's brand new? Is it only brand new or new to you? Uh, is it going to be uh, vehicles that have certain emissions? Is it going to be... Jeez, um, how, can I, how can I even describe this? It's very difficult to put into words my reservations about this. But, if it's only vehicles that were made before 2000 and are considered clunkers that qualify, what about me? I have a 2002 Hyundai Accent. It's, you know, it, it's nice, still works pretty well. Uh, I need new brakes and everything, but for the most part it's okay, but it's starting to give me a little bit of trouble and before it becomes a money dump I'd rather buy a new vehicle if I can get a discount for it. So how much money are they going to give me to get a new vehicle since my vehicle is not even 10 years old yet? Um, what kind of vehicles are going to qualify? Is it just going to be trading in for compact vehicles when you have an SUV? Or is it going to be SUV for SUV? Or is it going to be uh, any vehicle whatsoever that you want to trade in? So what is considered a clunker. What will be their definition? I don't know. Someone sh really, really should ask them that question before we actually vote, uh, vote yay or nay on this. But overall, if they do what I think they're going to do, that's, that's going to be a good plan. What I think they're going to do is they're going to take any vehicle that is before a certain year where fuel efficiency or fuel economy and emissions were not as much of a concern. Fuel economy and emissions started to become uh, more of a concern around, I'd say, 2005. So anything before 2005 might be something that you'd look into trading in. And if you can trade it in and get a more fuel economic vehicle, um, something that is going to produce a lot less emissions, I say go for it. But if you're going to give, I don't know, let's say $200 for a piece of shit car that's only worth $50 to junk in the first place, then I really don't see the benefit. It's going to just cost the taxpayer money for nothing. And what about those who are driving the clunkers? Can they really afford a new vehicle? Is that incentive going to be enough to actually get them to buy a new vehicle, or are they going to keep that piece of shit car? That's my concern. Because most of the people that are driving piece of shit cars are usually either unemployed, on welfare, 
retired or otherwise in a, incapable of affording a new vehicle. Students, like, geez, I wouldn't want to be a student again paying for a brand new car. I was a student paying for a used car I, that I got a really good deal for, which is nice. My car is now paid off, but it's starting to give me a little bit of trouble. And also, maybe they should make it mandatory for vehicles before a certain age that haven't been upkept to get a trade-in. Or at least give them money to junk the damn thing. Because I see a lot of vehicles in Moncton that are driving around and all you see is blue smoke coming out of the tailpipe. This is not a special effect. This is actual blue smoke coming out. You can smell it, you can taste it, it's disgusting. It's part of the reason why Moncton is becoming extremely shitty. Like, you feel the air around here, you stand outside. On my balcony it's not bad because there's a lot of wind, I'm by the water, so it's not too bad. But if you go inside the city, where there, there's a lot of traffic, and you're just, you know, sitting there, let's say at a, a restaurant or on a balcony for a balcony for a restaurant, you can feel it. It is completely disgusting. I get home after maybe a 15 minute walk, and I have to take a shower because I can feel the grime on me. It's disgusting. So this plan would be a benefit in that instance, but what are going to be the repercussions? I'd like to know your comments. If you want to leave a comment on my page, that's great. I welcome them. And any opinion is great. I'm not going to say, oh, okay, yeah, you're a total moron. Well, unless you leave a completely asinine comment, but, you know, we're... We're on the internet, so there's bound to be a couple of retards on there. I have nothing against retards, as long as they stay away. So, in conclusion, I'd like to say that it can be a very good thing. It has a possibility of being a very good thing, but it has a possibility of backfiring big time. So, give me your opinion. We'll see. And... Who knows, if someone has a good idea for a uh, type of petition for certain uh, how shall I, uh, guidelines or certain uh, restrictions to be applied to this new cash for, or, uh, cash for clunkers deal, let me know. This is Jamie, signing off.